Well, hey everybody. Well, it's uh, been cold, so I've been sheltering in place, but right now I'm dog watching. So he's a pretty good old boy. He knows this property real well. Comes out, and marks it up for me, keeps the coyotes away. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of him, take care of old Hank. He's been in the house because it's been cold, so he is uh, a little stir crazy. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll dog set the dog. And uh, I don't have a dog of my own. And uh, at this, this point in my life, I, I don't think I'll get a dog of my own. So years ago, uh, when I lost my last collie of old age, he, uh, he uh, uh, I thought, I've never had a little dog. So uh, I said, I'll get a little dog. So I wanted one of those Pompignos, which I've never had. I've always had a dog as big as Varro, a German Shepherd-sized dog or and the collies I had were the full-size collies. And uh, anyway, so I said Pompignon. So you know what those are? They look like the little gremlin dogs. I'll, I'll, when I mix this, I'll put a little image up there so you get the vision of what a Pompignon is. So I went to the uh, Humane Society. I don't buy buy dogs. I, I rescue dogs and told them, hey, if ever, anybody ever comes in with an old Pompignon or a young Pompignon, I don't care. Just let me know. And, so the Humane Societies are calling me on a regular basis. Oh, we have your Pompignon in. And I'd show up and they every time were pit bull puppies. <laughs> pit bull puppies. Now, uh, I've got some pit bull stories and I will tell you that I will not own one of those particular dogs at all. So uh, <laughs> I like a, a more sporting dog for sure than uh, something bred for fighting. So uh, anyway, so... Uh, but yeah, uh, and eventually, after like three years of them calling me and saying, hey, you know, we got your pumping your puppies in or old pumping your, and they're pit bulls every time they call to get rid of them. No, I don't want those. So after about three years of that, I realized, you know, this is the first time in my life I've never had a dog. And I've always owned dogs. I've had many, many dogs. And I realized that I've only had dogs because culturally, uh, we're told to have them, right? I mean, we're taught you know, uh, two kids, a dog, a cat, and a, a nice house. So uh, anyway, I ended up re uh, realizing I don't really, w I like the freedom. I'm not a big time dog fan. So sitting for uh, for uh, Baro, there he goes, he's running. Uh, he knows uh, old Hank quite well. So uh, those two are buddies and believe it or not, uh, and uh, that dog play uh, I don't <laughs> I guess <laughs> love crosses all lines or whatever anyway they play so anyway but bringing Varro out is something I do on a regular day basis and destiny brings him out and lets him run and get his energy out and uh, right now it's been pretty rough so I could see where he needs just a little bit right to uh, get some exercise so uh, I'm happy to have the company I hope to get uh, my truck parked before old Hank gets in front of me and boxes me in. He is trotting along behind me, uh, wondering if he'll get oats or not. So I'm going to hurry up here and get my truck parked before he shows up. All right, I got old Hank his oats before he even showed up. So I think he'll, I'm off the hook on there, the horsey hook. So let me show you this here. Let me rotate. So this thing, it's a full 80 pound bale. I had talked in another video of um, something new that I learned. This particular hay is called compressed hay. And it's a full uh, 80 pound um, or 60 pound, I, I guess 60 pound bale of hay. I wanna throw that away before Hank gets it. Uh, and uh, I didn't grow up on this, so it's brand new to me. Again, other people might have. So then I peel a, a big flake off for them. And it seems to puff up anyway. Already got his oats over here. Chewing away. All right. Here you go, buddy. He does like that. All right. Let's take a look at where we're at. But uh, it is cold. It's it's in the 30s somewhere, uh, 34. I'm beginning to feel it. So I'll drill these last two screws out off camera, uh, put away all my tools before the evening, feed Hank some extra oats, and uh, off I'll go. So, Hank, feed time! 
Varro, time to go. Hank, feed time. Varro. <whistles> oh, those two boys. Off and about causing trouble. Hank, feed time. Varro! Come on! <whistles> Come on, let's go! Hey, feed time! Good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. It's time for us to head out, buddy. Where's your buddy? You outran a horse? That's pretty darn good. You see him, I can tell your little ears are picked up. It's cold, that's why he doesn't run. Hank, feed time! I see him in the mesquite. <laughs> Taking Hank trail. Well, let's see if I can zoom in on that. <laughs> Don't go run off, we're gonna load up. Come on, Hank, put a little put a little sting in it, please. It's getting cold, I'm ready to leave. I know, Hank is just taking his time. Just taking his time. Yeah, those two are old buddies right there. They grew up with each other, sort of. Well, Varro grew up with Hank. Hank was already an old, old dude. <laughs> Did you try to stomp on Varro for getting in your way? <laughs> all righty. There we go. I feel good about all that. I'm here, boys and girls. Whew, it's cold. My fingers are cold. All right, Varro, let's show everybody how smart you are. Why well, I'm willing to babysit a doggy sit a whore, dog. Come on, sit. Sit right there. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Load up. <laughs> he is smart, too. All right, I hope you enjoyed that final sign-off. Let me get my tools around, and off I'll take everybody home for dinner. <laughs>